today's video, I ended up making the STB back to its original version in Modern Warfare 2. I don't know if you guys remember, but the STB used to be one of the best ARs in the game, and now currently, it's really not talked about anymore. But that's about to change in today's video. So anyway, fam, in today's video, I'm gonna hit you guys with the best class setup for the STB in Modern Warfare 2 currently right now, with to go along with that, the best attachments and the best weapon tunings possible. Now, I do want to say this AR did end up catching a big nerf back in the beginning of Season 1, but going into Season 2, this is possibly one of the best ARs again, because it offers little to no recoil and a pretty good, generous high damage range. Look, see, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel with notifications turned down, make sure to do so so you guys never miss a banger up on the channel because it is free and that means it's for me. Hey guys, let's get into today's STB class setup in Modern Warfare 2. Hey fam, let's go ahead and hop into our STB 556 uh, AR class setup in Modern Warfare. Totally say this gun looks like the MX9, bro. They look so similar and it, oh man, it's so weird. Anyways. I'm going to give you guys my best attachments, the best weapon tunings, and to go along with that, I'm going to teach you guys how to control recoil at the end of this video. I did get a fresh haircut. I'm a little bit itchy. Haven't had a no beard face in a while, but what? I'm looking at Smexy as a mother trucker. So let's go ahead and hop into this class enough, man. All right, starting off with the barrel, guys. We're going to go going out this 508 millimeter rare guard barrel. What this is going to do is help you out with that damage range, hit fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. And this is so key because with a gun like this, you're gonna need this because it is an AR, and since it is an AR, you're gonna want that anyways. Alrighty, fam, for the next attachment, we're gonna be coming out with this muzzle. We're gonna be going on with the Echoless 80 silencer. Now, I like the silencers in this game because they actually help you guys with damage range and bullet velocity. In other Call of Duties, we never had this. I don't know why that's in this game, but it helps tremendously. And I've noticed that if you don't run a suppressor compared to running a suppressor on a gun, it's a crazy big difference. All right, fam, coming out with our next attachment, we got the ammunition rounds. We're going to be going and putting on the high velocity rounds out. But with this, high velocity rounds are so key. Whenever you have the option to run them, it's so key that you do run these because that bullet velocity comes in clutch. That means every bullet that you shoot will be traveling at a faster trajectory to each enemy. All right, fam, hopping in with the next attachment. We're going to be coming on with the optic with the Cronin Mini Pro. Now, this sight I particularly like on the STB. I've always enjoyed using it. It. So I'm going to say all of our tunings that we will be giving you does not matter when it comes to the site. So everything will also match to anything you want to run. But this is just the one I like to run. Alrighty guys, for the last attachment for the stock, we're going to be going on with the Bruin MX-9 stock. Now it's kind of funny they named it that because that's just a stock for the MX-9. All this is going to do is allow us to up our sprint to fire time speed, ADS speed, and crouch speed. Alright guys, now we have all of our attachments. Let's take this gun to the fire range. Let's see how it performs. And then we're gonna go ahead and tune this baby up right, guys so let's just see here so far oh the knife is checked so ads seems pretty good damage seems pretty good as well not too uh shabby here as well so honestly so far it's looking pretty good uh on damage range recoil control all those types of things let's go ahead and tune our attachments and then we're gonna have some fun with this stb all right guys so starting off with the barrel we're going to be going in and adjusting the recoil steadiness up to a 0.4. Now, what this is going to do is pretty much allow your gun to be like a laser beam. And honestly, the STB can be a laser beam if you make it one. When it comes to damage range, we're going to put that to a 0.25. Now, all this is going to do is pretty much allow your bullets to travel a lot faster and have more of a punch to every bullet. Pretty much is acting as if it's a long barrel. Alrighty fam, on the next attachment for the Echoless 80 silencer, since we don't have a grip on the STB, it's so important that we're able to control any type of recoil steadiness or recoil control in general. What we're going to do is put the recoil smoothness up to a 1.0 on the dot and make sure you max out bullet velocity. Now bullet velocity I'd like to max out completely because what this is going to allow your bullets to do is travel to every target faster which will actually increase your time to kill means that your gun will shoot quicker and kill quicker than other guns in the game. Alrighty fam, my favorite attachment being the high velocity rounds. Now listen, I love these things, okay, because it's my favorite attachment. Because with this attachment, the, the possibilities are endless, and it's night and day with this attachment. So what I like to do with this thing is normally I like to max it out. When using this weapon in the video though, I find I did find out that putting the damage range to 0.50 and putting bullet velocity to a nice 7.0, generous 7.0, I realized I didn't really lose much of anything compared to maxing it out. When you max it out, you get a lot of red in the graph, and sometimes it's not a big hit, but I noticed I was actually got more cons, I'm sorry, more pros and cons while doing this instead. 
right, fam, for our next attachment for the Cronin Mini Pro Sights, what we're going to do is make sure we increase our ADS speed to a generous 1.0. And uh, as far as eye positioning goes, I like to put that to a 0 0.30. Uh, just pretty much just brings out the red dot sight a little bit more. You don't have to do this, but that's just the I like to do. But definitely make sure you copy the ADS speed for that tuning. Alrighty, fam, for the Bruin MX-9 stock, since this is a mobility stock, this is where we get to have a little bit of fun with it. As you guys know, we haven't done anything with aiming idle stability, so we will get to that point. Now, since we have sprint fire speeds, it's going to be important that our aim walking speed steadiness we want to put up a little bit so we're going to increase this to a generous 1.25 now what that's going to do is allow you to strafe a little bit faster to left to right while adsing down sight <laughs> excuse me when it comes to aiming auto stability make sure you put this to a nice 2.0 now what that's going to do is allow your red dot not to sway left to right while you are adsing all right, guys, now we have all of our attachments, all of our tunings. Let's say this comes to the firing range so I can teach you guys how to control recoil and how to stay on target. Hey, right, guys, so we are in the firing range. Sprint to fire time speed seems pretty good. Let's go and check out how everything else seems to be going pretty well. I mean, honestly, damage is pretty good. Now, if you guys want to control recoil, guys, make sure you're tilting down that right thumbstick always. And moving left to right is going to help stay on target more than ever before. All right, guys, comment down below how you like this class. Let me know the next gun you want to see me showcase to the channel. And as always, if you want to get better at Modern Warfare 2, just watch this crazy gameplay on shipment that we ended up dropping today. As always, guys, I appreciate all the love and support. Catch you guys later. Peace. I feel like everybody knows I love me some shipment, man. I always love me some shipment. I, I, I just... Shimmy is so crazy, bro. Just get on. Oh. 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 Bro, we are, dude, this game is so ratty right now. Holy crap. It gets crazy in these games sometimes. Chill out with the Sentax boys. Oh my lord. I look crazy out here. Jeez, man. Bro, oh, friendly veto on station. Reload this. Hold up. Bro, there's so many dudes just spawning back here. It's not even funny right now. It's legitimately crazy. What is going on in this game? Ooh. STB is good. STB is good. This thing's ridiculous, bro. This thing is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I have teammates going butt ham right now with this gun, dude. Why are you spawning on me? Game, don't spawn him on me. Straight body in these kids right now, man. I feel bad for these dudes. I'm dropping an MGB on these kids. Oh, dude, what was that? All the weirdos are like camping together, bro. I kind of don't like when everybody kind of camps together. It kind of makes the game like not enjoyable anymore. Like, brother. Brother, you got to go out the spawn, man. Explore shipment, explore the map. See, that's the only thing I gotta say that is annoying about this game. Is that, like, nobody ever explores the map on this game, bro.
Yo, oh my god. Bro just got dorked down. They're just all spawning there again. They're all spawning back there, bro. This is wild, man. This is literally wild. I don't think you can make this up, bro. You cannot make this up. I gotta drop a UE. Bro, again? Yo! They're still spawning back there. I'm trying to get back there, though. I'm having a hard time getting back there, though, but... I guess we're just gonna have to keep trying. I can't even freaking see, dude. Jeez. I was trying to get to the freaking thing, but I couldn't even get to it. Oh my gosh. Dude, the amount of dudes camping on this map is getting insane. I just I feel like everybody just kind of camps, bro. Waiting for the next kill. They could possibly get. Who, who here actually enjoys shipment? I'm kind of curious to know because I enjoy it. It's just a little hectic for me, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up the HDR. I'm gonna need this. I gotta get some guys. I need bullets. I actually don't have any. What are the spawns on this game? What are the spawns on this game? What are the... We got our MGB, but I just lost my MX-9. Yeah, where'd it go? All right, I got it, I got it. What are the spawns on this game? What is this? What are these spawns? These spawns are wild, bro. Yo, these, yeah, these these spawns are definitely broken. I can for sure say that. The game just continuously spawns people in any corner they can find. I swear they do. Jeez. This is crazy, bro. I don't think I've ever been in such a crazy lobby, bro, like this. This is insane. It's because the spawns don't really make much sense, bro. They really don't ever. Bro was really trying to push you with a shotgun. Like, I gotta give it to him. Yo. Not again, bro. Not again. They were putting everybody on that corner. All right, MGB time. Let's go. Time to bring her in. <laughs> the shot goes, oh, no. <laughs> bro, 91 kills, brother, with this MX-9. Truly insane. Woohoo, sheesh. Yeah, that gun's pretty crazy. I gotta admit. A lot of people say it's a pea shooter. It still holds up pretty well.